Okay, so um, just far away. <laughs> you think the team's ready, Coach? Uh, not back? yet. We got, but we've got till noon on Saturday, and so we, you know we've still got some things we've got to get done in the meeting room, and then tomorrow come out with the uh, and get our final walkthrough. But I believe that we're where we should be at this point in time. I like the mindset. I like the focus. I like the way they practice. But you know we've got to. You know I've always believed that. You're you're never you're, you're you can only say you're ready when the game's over. You know you got to play through the game. You got to keep getting ready the whole game. So that's what we're trying to do, and that's we're trying to create that mindset. It's kind of a sense of urgency, you know. So that's what we're trying to do. Did he say anything to you guys in the huddle, uh, Maurice? He did. He spoke to the team, and uh, you know, it was great. It was great to hear from him and his message to these players. You know, put really only as a player can put it. A guy that's very well respected in the league, has attained a lot of success, is a UCLA uh, alum, you know, played here and had success. Uh, you know, he's just an impressive guy. And I think what stands out is that, you know, he's a guy that always had great belief in his ability, worked hard, and he's got it. His heart just takes up his whole freaking chest, you know, and that's one of the reasons that he's so great. And just some of the things he said to the guys were, I think, pretty, uh, pretty right on, and I think uh, hit home with him. Coach, you've talked a lot about overcoming adversity and, and going through hard times and yeah. bouncing back. How hard is it to have that message stay maintained after? I mean, obviously you had Oregon State, lost, came back, bounced back. So after losing this last week, how, how does that maintain? Well, that's life. I mean, you can either lay down and quit or you can keep fighting. You know, I mean, that's not just sports, that's life. And uh, I just believe you don't learn how to overcome adversity unless you hit adversity. And uh, this won't be the only adversity these guys hit in their life, nor will be the only adversity they hit this season. So it's got to be a constant message to just keep fighting. You know, uh, you think about an athlete like Michael Jordan. You know, Michael Jordan missed 26 game-winning shots in his career. He lost over 900, ga 300 games. Uh, Think a couple other things, but I know he missed 26 game-winning shots. You know, what everyone remembers the great things he did, and that was just a mindset to keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting, keep trying, keep persevering. And you know, we just got to continue to try to build that mindset with these guys. So, you know, you hate to lose, but in a loss, great lessons can be learned that serve these kids later in life. What kind of running back and what kind of challenges John White present to you? He's a good running back. There's a good offense. You know, when you've got, I talked about the receivers the other day. They've got a, a good group of receivers in that tight end. They've got five receivers that we think are really good receivers. So when you put a running back in the backfield that's also very capable, okay, or you put a quarterback in the backfield that's very capable of running and you're trying to play coverage, it just makes things a little bit more difficult. You know, when you get yourselves in a, in a, in a run defense uh, and they throw it, you know, you're a little bit of a disadvantage when you put yourself in a pass defense. I'm sorry, in a, in a what did I just say first? A run defense run and they defense. throw it? Yeah, yeah, a pass defense and they run it. It's the same thing, you know. So it's kind of a, a, a game of chess um, because every defense has its weakness, you know. And uh, we've just got to make sure we play fundamentally sound and play hard and get off blocks and attack and tackle and do the things we're capable of doing. You mentioned with uh, Darius Bell being out, mm -hmm. uh, Devin Fuller's role would increase. Mm -hmm. Is that within the 20 play frame, or would, would, would he see more, more playing time? Or? Potentially could see more. I think a lot of it has to do with how we're doing, what we're doing, uh, how the game's going, how he's playing. Is he, is he uh, capturing the concepts we want him to capture and being able to execute them? Uh, you know, if anyone else is playing well, how they're playing, that's all those types of things. But I wouldn't want to limit it at 20. If uh, you know, if he's showing that he can handle the competition at this level at this point in his career, you know, only two games in, and he's doing good things, and we're going to make sure we keep getting him on the field. Uh, the 20 play thing was really kind of before, before Darius, before, uh, well, not before Devin. In addition to Devin, and, and kind of with Jerry last week in a little bit, dinged up. He's better this week. But if we could get him 20 snaps, 25 snaps, then that'd be great. How's it looking to you in terms of how he runs routes? And good because he's never played receiver before. I know and it, you really wouldn't notice it you know at least in practice because he's very athletic and I think just you know kind of maybe like Darius you know Darius was a quarterback who had an understanding of route concepts and 
and zones and where to sit down and how to find openings. And I think you see a little bit of that with with, uh, with Devin. You know, he he's thrown a lot of passes to guys running routes. So I think maybe that has helped him translate into running routes the right way. But it's he's still learning. I mean, he's really learning. It's only been. We have three practices this week, and I think he worked two practices last week at receiver, so he's had five practices there. But for five practices, he's done well. He's very athletic. How's Jordan Payton done this week? How has he Good. advanced, like, let's say, in the last week or so? Just, you know what, he just, since day one when he came out here, he never looked like a freshman. Um, you know, he's, he's physically mature, and he's emotionally mature, and he handles it well. Now, he's still going to get into games and see things that he hasn't seen before. You know, every week that's that's kind of the challenge with playing young players is they they just don't have the experience to recognize things and adjust as quickly as you you know think an older guy would have. Um, they just haven't seen as much. So uh, that's really kind of the only challenge with Jordan because physically he's mature, emotionally, mentally he's mature, and uh, he's got a lot of confidence. I love the way he plays the game. I think the guy's going to be. I think he's a good receiver. And I think he's going to be a darn good receiver here eventually. How do you think Torian's bounced back this past week? Well, from what I've seen, you know, in practice and just being around him in the meetings, uh, he comes up to the offices every day and watches film between classes. I would say, well, but the proof is in the pudding. You know, we'll see when he lines up on, on uh, Saturday afternoon where he is. I, I think that, uh, you know, he was bothered by his knees, but beyond that, you know, he, he knows he's capable of playing better than he did, and I think that he takes a lot of pride in that. And, you know, he's still a young guy and he's going, you know, it was a tough week for him. But uh, I've been impressed with the way he's bounced back, you know, at least emotionally and the way he's practiced. So hopefully that translates into good play on Saturday. Is there an update on Greg Capella? He's still out. <clears throat> he's got, it, 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 you know, it, he's, it's a concussion. And um, he's still symptomatic. And um, we've kind of kept him away from the team just because when he sits in meetings and he has to focus, it's it's difficult on him right now. So we'd rather him spend that energy that it takes to to focus in school, you know, and do those things. So we want to give him a break. You know, anytime a guy gets hurt, they feel like they're letting their teammates down, and he's not letting his teammates down. You know, he's got a head injury. He can't control that. He can't control the way it heals. You know, you don't tough out head injuries. You know, a guy gets a bruise or he gets a sprain or he gets a, you know, a, a, a nick. You know, sometimes you say, tough it out. You know, play through the pain, but you don't play through head, head injuries. So we're just, we're just going to be very, very, very safe with those things. Make sure they're okay. They got a life to live, and it's, it ain't worth it. So. Okay? Is that it?